Hey, hi everyone. Uh, good to see you in the another video of uh, Kane AI testing assistant from the Lambda test. Okay. So a couple of weeks back, Lambda test has been announced Kane AI uh, testing assistant for the end-to-end -end software testing agent, which is built on top of uh, AI powered platform uh, with, with you no know, uh, modern languages, uh, large language model, which is MIML. So it is it is it has unique approach to create your test cases, debug and execute uh, you know, the test that you have written in the natural language. Okay. So right now uh, the KDA is it's running on the private beta version. So if you need to uh, explore or if you want to experience the KDA, you can go ahead and you can do the sign up. So you will get access to you know use or explore the KDA testing assistant. Okay. So it has a lot of features. I'm going to explain how the KA will be working, uh, how to create its test cases and how you can execute. Uh, and they have no multi-language support as well. And uh, they have test planner where you can organize your test and you can run. And it has uh, hyper execute, which will execute no the test cases much faster than the cloud, uh, more than like a 70% they have client. So this is what the hyper uh, execute, okay? So getting start with, uh, no, you have to sign up. So as soon as you sign up, so you will be getting the dashboard uh, from the Lambda uh, Lambda test account. So this is a dashboard. It will look like this. And no, by no, but just clicking on Explore button, so you will be redirect to this particular KA where you can write start writing your web test case. Uh, it it has mobile support as well as as they say. Okay. So since this is a beta uh, version I'm using, maybe I have only the web test. Okay. So they have well documented things as well. So if you go back here and if you click on the support doc, so you will be redirected to this particular page. And they have a detail about how to use uh, the KNA testing and how to create a test cases, okay, run your test and you no, know, all guided walkthrough videos uh, available. Okay. So they have all the common types also they have given. It, it is more like a natural language, I told you, right? So you can just type go to this website or open this, wait for five seconds. So these are like um, you can you can enter this command, okay? So we have a lot of comments. Uh, we'll see one by one. Uh, quickly, let me get back to the video. Um, I mean, the video exercise of how to create the test cases, okay? So this is a page. Uh, this is currently beta, I'd say. Um, you can just click on the create web test, okay? So now the virtual machines, um, it's going to you know set up the things. And by default, it is going to be a Google Chrome browser. They have other browsers as well. Okay, so once this is done, so what we can do, uh, you can open any URL. So by default, it will open the Google Chrome. Okay, so here you can see the comments. There are two things you can you can write your steps here as an as a natural language, or you can you know capture the 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 screen accents, which is manual interaction. Okay, so let's wait for this you know complete. So now you can see this is launched the uh, our, our created the containers and the VMs and everything is done. So now the browser is ready. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say open. Okay, so this is a sample website I have taken, so which is nothing but orange source Kasharam. So yeah, you just I type just open. So it got open now. So here you can see the manual interaction as right? So manual interaction also you can use. Okay, so let's say for example, I'm clicking on the manual interaction. And I'm going to enter the username here. Okay. And you can left side, you can see it is all being captured uh, as, a, as a, a plain natural language. Okay. So you can turn off this manual interaction. Okay. So I have entered the username. So now I just want to type the password. Okay. So I'm going to give type in password input. So this is the password. So when you click on enter, it is going to analysis and it is going to enter your password in the password field. Okay. So followed by uh, you can, I mean, the comments like I showed in the previous screen, right? So I can simply right click login button. So you don't need to be very specific. Um, just try with your own comments. If, if the comments is not working, so try in the different sentence. I mean, different words, putting the different, different words, it will definitely take it because that's how the A will be trained. So now you can see I have I have used the click login button, right? But they have an instruction. You can see it is going to click on the login button as there is no previous action. 
So if you want to see uh, it is clicked or performed the right button or right element, you can just click on the screenshot to view. This is what being highlighted and clicked. Okay. So after the click, uh, no, I just want to confirm uh, no um, the, the login is success. So I'm going to there are there are some assert statement also you can see here. Assert if the button um, I mean ref button is text is subscribed right. So likewise you can use some assertion as well. So I'm going to use. I said that profile icon is visible. Okay, I, I just want to see after login, I'm able to see this profile icon or not. So similarly, there are a lot of things. You know, you can go for a uh, wait for a few seconds, which is implicit wait. So I'm going to give it as wait for two seconds. So that one also will be uh, no analysis. You can see here, and you, I can and you, you can use clear the values. Everything is same. And if you want to set okay, so let's navigate to some other menus in the left side. So I'm going to uh, click leave menu. Okay. So now it is going to click on the leave menu, which is on the left side. Yeah. Now you can see it, it got clicked on the leave menu. So followed by now we have this calendar pick, right? So I just want to set some date in the from date. So I'm going to set set today date in from date. This is an input field. So I'm just giving as an input field. Okay. So set today date in the from date. This is what the command that I have written now. Again, you, if you want to write your natural language, you can write it or you can go with the, the manual interaction as well. You can see now. It got clicked on the 9.15, which is my local time today, local date today. Okay. So followed by the next action, you can do the continuous actions as well. You can do assertion, like I told. Uh, you can do uh, go back, or forward, navigate, do refresh, everything. And you can use the open new tab as well. Okay. So for example, open new Google tab. So what is going to do? It is going to open a new Google tab here. You can see here, right? So similarly, you can close the tab. So close Google tab. So it will close. Yeah, you can see it got closed. So likewise, you can switch the tab, close the windows, uh, close the tab as well. And the scroll action also available. So you can give some command like a scroll once, so which is going to scroll down now. Yeah, you can see the scroll down down in there. So similarly, you can do scroll up as well. And you can use scroll up by three times, scroll up by 10 times, something like that. So I'm just giving a scroll up once. Okay, now it is done. So similarly, you can do the, the and condition activity as well, which is continuous statement, right? Now I want to do the logout. For logout, I need to click on the profile icon, followed by I need to click on the logout link, okay? So I'm going to write, click on, profile icon and click logout, okay? So now it is going to click on the profile icon and, and followed by it is going to click on the logout. So the logout is done. Just make sure the logout is done. I'm and again, no, either you can use assert statement or verify statement, anything is fine. Verify login text is present on the screen, okay? So it is done. So now you can, I mean, after the step complete, you can see assertion true. Just click on the screenshot to view it is pointing to the text or not, okay? So right now, I mean, we have created one test. So you can simply click on the finish test, okay? I'm just going to click on finish test where you can save your test case into the test manager. So by default, you, know, you can create multiple projects as well. So I have created this default one and I'm selecting the folder to save. So based on the sequence actions that you have done in the, the action steps. So it will automatically take the test case name and description as well. You can modify later. Or if you want to modify, you can modify. So select the type. I'm just selecting as a functional and the status as open and save test. So as soon as you save the test case, where it will be ready to run your test case in the hyper execute mode. Okay. This is very faster. 
Okay, so this is a test case. The test case name, description, everything is available. So if you want to later edit any steps, you can go ahead and you can start edit the test case. Okay, so followed by you have a code generator. So this will take a while, uh, I mean, maybe two, three minutes to generate the code. Uh, the code generation by default into the Python and Selenium. They have other languages as well. And whatever the run that you have, you are going to do, that will be captured as a history here. Okay. So now let's go back here. Uh, just wait for a one second. That's still generating. So if you want to edit the code, if you want to remove some step, uh, modify your steps, you can do that. Okay. So now when you come back to the code, you can see here, the code is generated. You can see the view code option over here. So this is by default in the Python with Selenium. And now you can see that you can see download option also. You can download this code. Now you can see the hyper execute, right? So once the code is generated, you can come back to the summary. Here also you can see the hyper execute button is available, right? So when you're going to click on that hyper execute, it is going to execute on the, the cloud on the hyper execute mode, okay? So here you will have you know, the VM allocated and you can see the parallel count and how much test cases being queued, everything you can see here. So it has a pre-step scenarios and post-steps. So the pre-steps will be you now like, I mean, initiating the, the VM machine and everything. So after that, uh, you can see the scenarios where you can, you can see your test case will be running here, okay? So followed by they have a lot of logs uh, which will be captured your network logs selenium logs a lot of logs we have i will show you when the text i mean the exhibition is complete and by default it is going to be a linux um, operating system in the chrome browser they have multiple operating system as well yeah so now you can see all the logs is created. Run test is one test, which is taken as only 35 seconds. So what are the steps that we have enter, right? Open, click on username and type in, everything will be captured here, okay? So now if you just expand this, so here you can see the view test option. So when you click on the view test, you will have the video evidence uh, recorded for the test case that executed, okay? And this is your test unique ID. So left side, you can see that the configuration and time taken and the user executed, everything you can see here. And followed by, you can see the logs, Selenium log, console log, terminal logs, device logs. And followed by network also, network tool, right? That being captured that the hexasar calls or all the calls on the network tool will be captured here. So now let's go back to all comments. And you can see the test case status is passed, okay? So you can you will have this video evidence as well. So you can just play back and you can see what is happening. So it is logging in, navigating to the leave menu, and setting the date and do the logout. It will be very fast. Okay. So once that is done, yeah. So now you can go back to the builds. And if you do want to configure, you can do the configures as well, like a tag, date, uh, status, everything you can do it. Okay. So this is the thing, uh, we have created the test case and we have, you know, then just go back to the projects, test manager and projects. So this is a test I have created now. So number of test cases, I have created two test cases before this video, I get created one more test case. So this is the one that we created now, okay? So just click on again, if you want to do some edit, anything you can do it. So here, all the exhibition history should come here. Apart from this, uh, if you go to the test manager, so when you go to test manager, you can see the insights and number of test cases. Um, so I have two test cases here and the insights you can see on the high level graphical representations report and followed by if you go to test plan. So the test plan is nothing but you can create your test plan and you can add multiple test cases. So just simply click on the create test plan. So I have created already. So let me go ahead and edit the test. Okay, so this is my previous one. Maybe what I can do, I can update and I can add one more test case if I want. So just click on add. So this is a new test case that we have created. Just click on finish and you can assign the assignee name and configuration. So I have selected this one with a Windows with a Chrome and one with Mac OS. So simply select the configurations and update the test plan. From here, 
So now we have group two test case in the test plan. So where you can create the build, which will execute in the cloud. Okay, all the test cases will be executed under. You can see now create build. So you have to build some uh, build number. Let me give us build five or six. And when you do create, it is going to create the build. Okay, and you can you can see run build is available. Right. So when you run this, it is going to run on the launch on the Lambda test cloud account. So your test cases will be executed over there. Okay. So that's what all about this can AI. Uh, we have a lot of uh, no futures available. You can just go here and you can experiment this command types and you can share your feedback and the improvements and enhancements to the, the Lambda test team. Okay. So thanks for watching the video. We'll see you in another video. Thank you, Dave.